Hi guys, it's been a while. Uh, finally, I got to make this video for you. Um, it's actually kind of a review, unboxing at least. So I guess this is going to be a two-parter. So this is part one. Uh, I'm going to unbox some new equipment I got today and uh, do a review of it. Uh, so far that, uh, that the unboxing goes. Uh, the part two is going to be more of the configuring of the system. So you, you're going to see what it looks like when you configure it and what kind of difference, different settings and stuff like that you have to choose from. So let's get on with it. Yeah, here it is. Here's the box. So what you get is this box. And today I'm going to un unbox the Edge Router PoE. And this is going to be my new router for my home setup in my survey cabinet and uh, all of the wireless that goes to it. So this is actually the first unit and the router. And then I'm going to get the access point as well and mount that later. So probably going to do a review of that as well. But I have I've actually not opened this. I'm just taking it out of the bigger box that it came in. Uh, only with the company with logo and stuff like that uh, where I bought it. So here it goes. It's kind of, it's not, it's not bad. Uh, the packaging is quite good actually. Uh, it's kind of, kind of simple looking, you can say. So this is how it looks in the box. It's quite okay. It's so here's the unit. Uh, here's the power adapter, if I get it out, there it goes, the power for it, it's not, nothing fancy, just a uh, power adapter, um, and this is some kind of label, I don't know what this is, but I don't care, don't need that, some screws and some plugs to mount it to the wall, if you want to, that is, um, always handy to have laying around. And that's it. I'm sure there's nothing else to it. No, uh, it's, that's everything I guess. Yeah, this is the Swedish power cable adapter so it goes into plug. Yeah, you know the drill. And that's it. That's more or less it. So I'll put that away over there. Nice and tidy. And this is the beauty of it all. So, at the first glance, it looks quite alright. Nothing special, just a router with, yeah, with uh, power input at the back. And this is, of course, your ground. So, if you want to ground it to an outlet or something like that, or maybe you have one of these. Uh, I don't know what the English word is, but these strips in the back of your case or your mounting place with a lot of ground plugs that you can wire it to directly, you can do that here. Uh, nothing fancy, just, just a typical old ground. And I can recommend it actually. If you have a... If you have like a... a earth breaker. I think it's called in English. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, you should actually do this because this power adapter isn't uh, going to ground the unit itself. This is just feeding you power. Uh, so this is just power to the unit. So this is typical um, electrical advice from an electrician. So this takes the current from the a wall socket and transforms it to an output of 48 volts and this that's only 
it's uh, DC so uh, it's only plus and minus so actually this is not going to ground your device at all so I recommend if you can and you have the knowledge that is so ground the unit up with a uh, gr uh, ground cable wired to some point uh, that you can get ground from typically and typically in your server cabinet you have like a, yeah like I said you have like a strip or a, um, a socket or something that you can mount um, and wires too so you can ground the unit but anyway that's all uh, that's it but uh, like you see here uh, you have the you have the console part over here and you have the ethernet part you have the zero one the one two the three the four yeah so on and uh, nothing special about it at all and um, what's a nice feature that you have actually the reset button over here on the front panel depends of course how you mount it of course and um, so you can reset it if you want uh, if you messed up or something like that um, and you have your indications so you have two lights on each each outgoing socket uh, and of course your inlet as well uh, and the left or rather the right <laughs> diode or uh, lamp over here from your side and um, it's showing you the seep speeds yeah, as you can see here the different kind kinds of speeds and over here you can see the power it's putting out in PoE mode and this is kind of a nice, neat feature because like I said I'm going to get an access point as well and that access point is going to be um, uh, fed through this so fed through the ethernet cable on PoE so I'm only going to need one cable to that unit and that's kind of neat and I like the yeah I, I, I like to have the option for it so this is kind of it costs a little bit just because it's part PoE and the edge router is actually uh, this is the big brother with the PV option and you have a smaller one that's actually Not the half the size, but I guess two-thirds of this or something like that and It doesn't have the PV op option. So if you're not looking for the PV Support then you don't need it um, you can actually use use that instead and this is about I think it's about 100 and 80 US dollars approximately and the smaller one is about I guess 1100 or something like that US dollars am I saying that right yeah I am yeah ah, that's good but uh, I've converted the price that I bought it from uh, for so I paid like 1800 Swedish crowns for it and it's approximately 180 US dollars yeah anyway this is going to be interesting the only negative side I have about this so far at first glance is actually I'm going to mount this in a server cabinet and it doesn't have any holes usually it has some kind of holes over here so you can get some kind of uh, bracket or something like that so you can mount it in some way but you don't have that on either side or not at the top or the bottom for something similar to, to that so I'm I guess I'm going to MacIver this or whatever you say so I'm going to figure out a solution for this to mount it inside my server cabinet but yeah shouldn't be a problem I don't think so anyway shouldn't be a problem but yeah that's the router ran that's part one part two the configuration of it and showing you guys the different settings of the unit um, and so and I will take that later I guess
but that's so far it's looking good actually I, I like it and all these mesh or all these holes for ventilation is kind of neat looking I don't know if you can see it oh now you can see it um, and it's on the sides as well and the other side and as well as the back but yeah this is quite good and um, I guess that's the first part and I'm going to clear my dining room table here and make my way to my gaming room and start setting this thing up because I'm going to connect this without connecting connecting it to the internet so I get a hand off the settings and those kind of things before I actually mount it inside and start using it because actually I need to wait for my access point because when I remove my old router uh, I'm going to lose my Wi-Fi connectivity so uh, I guess I'm going to wait to it until I get that one but thanks guys for watching you know what to do like if you like this video dislike if you don't like this video and please subscribe if you feel free to watch this ugly mug again later on in a later video so see you guys next time and bye